What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is the girlfriend's 125. A lot of these fish in here are ones that I used to have in a lot of my other tanks, but aggression and me wanting to switch things up. Uh, she decided she wanted to keep them, so she bought a couple tanks, you know, a couple 55s, started keeping them in there together, and then aggression got really bad, so she found a good deal on a 125. And we just slapped it right there between the living room and the kitchen. Um, she's got a pretty cool mix of fish in here. These, I'm glad she didn't take them or let me get rid of them. I'm glad she took them. Uh, the fire mouth, it's just not one that I got. It's just one that I wanted before. I had one, got rid of it. The Vieja, I'm really glad we kept this guy. Uh, I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. This pike... I had a pike tank for about six, seven months. Had three of them, and they're very mean, uh, very, very mean. But this one seemed to be not as large. Uh, it was labeled white spot pike. I do have the scientific name somewhere. I'll have to find it. This guy is probably one of the meanest loaches ever. He'll fight for space with any of these cichlids in here. Uh, I think he was called a tiger loach or blight. Light float, I believe. I don't take care of this tank. This is all hers. Uh, that looks yellow because the driftwood legion and her female Dovey. She's always she had a jag. You got about nine inches. Started terrorizing. It had that Vi's face in its mouth <laughs> when we tried to put them all together from the smaller tanks. So we had to get rid of him. Donated him to Animal Jungle. He's in a huge cichlid pond now. But I have a feeling I'm going to be adding some more to this thing sooner or later. We have a bunch of uh, Fenestratus. We got about six of them that we bought from the pet store. We saw the breeding pair. Very, very pretty pair. We wanted the pair, but they wanted just a little too much for what they were. So we waited for them to spawn, which they did spawn because nobody was going to buy them at that price. They spawned in the store. They dropped the price on the fish. Somebody bought them before I could. Ended up buying some of the fry about a month and a half later. We're growing them out. And right now they don't look like much. I had them in my other 75 with the black substrate and they were turning the blue and the red. But I since then had to move some fish around so they're in with the rest of them in the black and white. But the 55 in my bedroom has the VA, a bunch of the Vihas in The majority of those fish are hers. But I do like the Vihas a bunch. I just have too many other ones that I like, so I let her take over that. I just love this guy. When we first bought him, I hated him. He ended up killing a couple of my rams. We put him in a community tank, it's probably like an inch long, and killed a gold ram and a couple electric blue rams. And we didn't know who it was for a while. And, and fish with the smallest mouth in the tank, murderer. But very, very pretty fish. The two band cichlid, or the red spot. Just thought I'd share with you guys uh, another one of the tanks we have in the house. I really like this tank. It's, I mean, right next to the computer. I mean, the other side here. Let's see here. Oops. Let's see, get that focused in. This is the other tanks. Oh. And I'll show you guys the uh, one of the bedrooms sooner or later. The bedroom's always a mess. I don't want to. Uh, this place is actually a mess. That's why I'm not going down at the floor. <laughs> but uh, that's basically the living room. Underneath this, I've got two fry tanks. I've got an angel tank, angel convict. So the next switch a breeder. The lights out on it though, but they're convict, so. They'll breathe in the toilet for me. 